it is uh, so appreciated by the audience but as i said it has nothing to do with the, the with the scientific term it is not an astronomical term at all so basically a supermoon is a, a full moon a bit closer hence a bit brighter and larger in its apparent size but trust me my friends nobody will actually recognize that it is a bit brighter and a bit larger because the differences of the supermoon versus a typical uh, average moon are just a very few percent so i will be very surprised if uh, someone will claim that she or he noted this kind of things but this supermoon is also the first one but this supermoon is also the first one of four supermoons in a row so the next three full moons four full moons if you consider even the one we are enjoying tonight will be super and the closest of this group of four will be the october supermoon so i strongly suggest you that uh, you will save the date at least for the october one but what is making special some more special this super moon is that it is also called a blue moon and we'll tell you a bit more about this but uh, let me see if i can share with you a different image that uh, i collected earlier Here from central Italy, I am uh, not far from Rome, well, about 100 kilometers south of Rome on the sea, on the Tyrian Sea. And this is the Paola Lake in the Sabaudia mm, town, which is a very appreciated place on the sea here in central Italy. And you can see the moon just up there with a very bright and colorful corona due to the small droplets of uh, water suspended in the atmosphere and then you can see of course the typical signature of the bright so the bright moon on the sea since this is also an image i really wanted to share with you and i was telling you about the, the blue factor here of course the moon is not looking blue uh, this is not a typical <laughs> color of the moon well sometimes the moon can uh, show that color but it is not the moon itself but it is due to the atmosphere sometimes it has been observed when uh, ashes of uh, uh, particular volcanoes were uh, in the very high atmosphere in the stratosphere and the presence of those ashes made the, the moon looking blue but it was the atmosphere just adding the blue i mean uh, uh, tone to the mean uh, the blue uh, who to the lunar light because the only uh, color the, the the moon can dress other than the typical one is the red color during eclipses the lunar eclipses you know so the blue here has nothing to do with the real color of the moon it is uh, a way to mark to label a special full moon keep in mind what i am saying right now you know you have uh, basically a full moon every month the lunar cycle that is the length the number of days between a full moon and the next full moon is about 29.5 days roughly a month so in general you have a full moon every month and in general you have uh, three full moons every season because uh, a given season has three months but sometimes because uh, the lunar cycle is uh, a bit shorter than uh, a longer month you know Hegus for example has 31 days what if uh, a full moon is uh, the first of August you have time to have another full moon in August and this actually happened last year for example so when you have two full moons in the same month the second full moon of that month is uh, called blue moon
this is something we call the monthly the monthly blue moon that is two moons in the same month i will i will say an extra moon in a given month but you you have also another opportunity another way to consider the an additional the extra moon if you have four full moons in a season as i say the season is uh, just uh, lasting three months so you will expect three full moons but for example the season we are enjoying right now summer in the northern hemisphere winter in the southern one is just uh, offering us four full moons this is a different blue moon the, the so-called seasonal blue moon well so if the monthly in the monthly blue moon consideration the second full moon of the month is the blue one in the seasonal blue moon when you have four full moons in the three season months it is not the last the fourth full moon to be labeled in a special way but the third one is called blue in this seasonal way and right now we are enjoying the seasonal blue moon so this super moon is blue in that seasonal sense i hope i made this point clear my friends i want to show you another image that i collected during a clear spell here it is this is this uh, beautiful blue super moon again captured from central italy and uh, in short i hope that uh, i helped you understanding why this one is called blue super moon so nothing to do with the color as i mentioned but simply a label indicating that there is somewhat an extra moon in this case a seasonal extra moon that is this season and as every season it has it has it, it is composed by three months but we have full four full moons in these three months of this season and the third full moon of the four ones in a given season in season sorry is uh, labeled as blue moon as again i repeat nothing to do with the real color of the moon even if sometimes but for atmospheric reasons not, nothing to do with the our moon by itself you can see i mean some some kind of uh, blue component in the lunar in the lunar light for example when you have uh, ashes of uh, some volcanoes in the high atmosphere happy to see many friends joining I thank all those leaving comments it's a pleasure for me to share this with you and of course it is not blue and hay as I mentioned it because nothing to do with the color it is just a way to call in a special way an extra moon in this case we have four full moons in this season while the season has three months so you will expect or on average I would say just three full moons when you have four as in this season the third one is labeled as i mentioned it so we are hopefully having fun with these images i was lucky enough to capture them despite the the weather the unfavorable weather and uh, some of you are perhaps wondering how rare is a blue super moon a blue moon and so on let me say that if you consider the blue moon the monthly blue moon definition i shared earlier the next blue moon in that monthly way will be in january 2037 so it will be in 13 years by now not very not very close i would say but a seasonal blue moon so using the other definition will uh, show in uh, like tonight to be to be clear will show in eight years by now so again not that frequent and uh, from here of course we say once in a blue moon 
to just indicate something basically not happening every day. Here it is another close up on this uh, beautiful uh, blue supermoon. The Sturgeon supermoon, as we call the full moon of August, relating to the opportunity to, to find a lot of, the, of this fish. So beautiful. The moon i really enjoy the moon every time i have the opportunity i wanted to sh to take in, to take pictures while uh, the blue super moon was rising that is at sunset because keep in mind that the full moon by definition by formal definition of full moon it, it is looking from the earth on the opposite direction with respect to the sun so when the sun is setting the full moon is rising and the magic here is that the full moon rises when you still have uh, the twilight in action so you can enjoy the terrestrial panorama before it gets too dark and after all when it is very dark the moon is much more obvious to me less spectacular almost dazzling and uh, it is uh, not as magic as enjoying it when it is just rising or setting and of course the moon is setting at sunset because the full moon as i said behaves in such an opposite way respect to the sun as for the setting and rising i think as i should have a another image let me see if i have another image to share something i really like okay no this is not the image here it is just uh, showing you the panorama all around while i was capturing the images And I hope this will bring to you the feeling, the experience I was enjoying, the beauty I was facing while capturing these images, taking benefit from a very short, clear spell, very, very, very short time, but I was happy to capture all this. Thank you to you, George, and all the other friends on the chat. It's a pleasure for me to be here, as you know. The Virtual Telescope Project has been around for 18 years now. But I want to mention that uh, the show is not over because uh, in, a bit mo in about 36 hours by now, we have another amazing event up there and we will bring it to you live that is we will have a lunar occultation of planet saturn this is truly mind-blowing because the moon will uh, will move in front of saturn just uh, covering it for uh, almost one hour what we call an occultation and we will have a live feed covering this in the morning of uh, august 21 if you want to learn more, just visit www.virtualtelescope.eu and you will find details to join at the right time if you want to look at this together with the Virtual Telescope Project team. So at this point, my friends, I'm going to close this quick live feed. I was, uh, unfortunately, I was, uh, as I said, facing unfavorable weather and uh, it was almost to cancel this live feed but at some point the sky opened and i wanted to exploit that uh, opportunity capturing images and uh, i want to say that i decided to run this live feed with the images i could capture here george 
the, my clock is saying it is uh, 10 minutes to midnight so we are just uh, ending this live feed as i said so i'm happy that you join it if you want you can consider supporting us because the virtual telescope project is uh, offering all this for free we will always do this but you know in order to run these kind of things we have to face uh, uh, some uh, expenses you have to um, to do maintenance you have to maintain your, web your website and many other things so if you want to support us you are very welcome you can do this quite easily just visit www.virtualtelescope.au slash donate and from there you can contribute to keep our project alive and producing more and more free events i will keep running all this for free until i will be able to do that and as i've been doing for 18 years now and uh, i'm so proud for the amazing reputation we gained over almost these 20 years of activity so that's all my friend it's uh, been uh, a pleasure for me to share with you again this uh, stunning experience and take note that uh, on agos 21 at 3 and 30 universal time we will share live no less no less that a rare lunar occultation of saturn to learn more to join at the right time visit virtualtelescope.au that's all from italy Gianluca masi virtual telescope wants to thank you all of you actually again and also our technological partners software bisc c web and telescope live take care i suggest you to subscribe our youtube channel so you will get uh, a notification as soon as uh, we will add uh, something great something new uh, we did a very spectacular show for the recent uh, per se meteor showers we will do hopefully something very good next time with the lunar occultation of saturn and i hope you enjoy this live feed so take care my friends as i say subscribe our, our youtube channel it is quite easy right now you are just in the right place to subscribe and you can also join the virtual telescope project facebook page to learn the latest to receive the latest information and the latest opportunity to enjoy the cosmos in real time that's all my friends take care and keep looking up